Hello, I did a video on uh, this author uh, quite some time ago, but I, I've uploaded some more of his books. I've got them all scanned in. Um, this is the works of uh, Dr. Ananda Kirtish Kumaraswamy. He's half Indian, uh, half English. Um, I was friends with his now late son, who is a, uh, a surgeon, a doctor, Dr. Rama P. Kumaraswamy. Um, his father, these are his books, um, wrote uh, over 60 books and many, many hundreds of articles. He actually wrote so many books and articles that they actually had to make a book long after his death um, listing all his books and articles. Uh, believe it or not, even though he's been dead since 1947, um, the last of his books was uh, not finished and not uh, fully edited and completed until 50, what was it, 54 years after his death. I mean, that's how prolific an author he was. He was, uh, was once on the stamp of India, even though he spent most of his time living in the United States. He was head of the Boston Museum of Arts. Um, now, you're going to think, well, this is your opinion that I'm about to state, but it's not. I'll tell you this flat out. I, I, by the way, I always know what someone understands or what their level of intelligence or wisdom is very, very easily, and it's by the books they recommend that you read. It's like, oh yeah, what's your favorite book? They'll tell you something. Oh, okay. Now I know what you understand, or rather don't understand. Um, if you ever wanted to know about the true nature of art, what it truly means, both in ancient and present times, give a true definition, and trust me, this will help your photography. It'll give you a new insight on photography that all the photographic classes in the world will never do. I mean, these are only a few of his books. Here's a Christian and Oriental Philosophy of Art. I have these books uploaded for you to download. I want you to read some articles. Trust me, I mean, if you want to sit back in the tub or you have a, a few uh, minutes, a lot of these articles are very short. I One thing I hate the most is that life is short. I can't stand a book that gives you 100 pages of content and inside of it there might be one or two sentences worthy of it. I hate that. It, it, it pisses me off. This is one of the most pithy authors who ever lived. I mean, he's got more in one paragraph than most people have in their entire book. He knew 27 languages, one of the most intelligent people who ever lived. His son, Dr. Rama P. Swami, rest his soul, gave me rights to all of his father's works with only one condition, which I gladly agreed to, is that I would never sell them or anything and always give them out to people. And uh, I'm so glad that his son, who owned the rights to his father's works, he granted me. And there's another publisher actually has rights to republish his works. But he granted me rights to give away his father's works. Um, we had a lot of lively discussions. I miss the poor old boy, but I mean, he was rather old. And uh, I, I miss him. I wish he wasn't gone now. But we all got to die at some time. I want you to read like Beauty and Truth and What is the Use of Art? or why exhibit works of art. And there's some uh, other articles within these series like uh, Beauty, Light, and Sound and uh, Windows on the Soul. Don't let the names of the articles confuse you. Um, the Nature of Art, the Philosophy of uh, Medieval and uh, Oriental Philosophy of Art. Um, I'm going to actually read you a really uh, quick passage here, just a, a couple uh, little snippets uh, from him. Many have rightly insisted that beauty of uh, that beauty of a work of art is independent of its subject, and truly the, humi uh, the humility of art, which finds its inspiration everywhere, is identical with the humility of love, which regards a dog and uh, brahmana of science, which the lowest form of significance is highest, and it's possible only in the same undivided. Uh, that wasn't the passage that I want. Sorry about that. We can only speak of uh, works of art as good or bad with reference to its aesthetic quality. For uh, as a work of art does not advocate any activity, only the subject matter and the material of which the work are entangled in relativity. Uh, in other words, that is to say, a work of art is more or less beautiful or more or less rasavant. That's a, another language term. Is to define the extent to which the work of art is rather merely illustration, however important. Anyway, when uh, then is beauty, what is rasa? What is that entitles us to speak of diverse works as beautiful? There are no degrees of beauty. The most uh, complex and simplex expression reminds of one of the same state. 
Uh, the sonata cannot be more beautiful than the simplest lyric, nor the painting uh, than the drawing, merely because of their greater elaboration. Civilized art is not more beautiful than savage art, merely because of its possibility of its attractiveness relative to the noose. This is a Greek term, rather hard to translate. Um, mathematical analogy is found if we consider large and small circles. But anyway, the point is that I know you don't want me to read uh, passages uh, from one of his articles. Uh, this is on uh, the nature of uh, what art is, what defines art. Um, but of uh, the many countless of thousands of people over the many years, long before I started making uh, these photography videos, no one has ever complained that I recommended these books to them. Um, they're divinely incredible. I mean, if you read these books and if you have any classes on art theory, the best professors in the world on art theory, um, if you just read a few of these, you'll trounce them. You'll just pounce them and just dance on their skull. They know so little compared to what you'll understand after just having read a few of these articles. Um, Transformation of Nature and Art, Defining What Art Is. This will actually help you, believe it or not. You don't have to read many articles. The articles are very, very small and pithy. Um, I'm going to show you some images of him. He said he was half, uh, half Indian and uh, half English. This is him doing an interview right here. This is Ananda Ketish Kumaraswamy. This is him and his pooch and his wife. I actually, this is where he's uh, building a log cabin up in Maine. This is a summer picture. His son sent me a handwritten article of uh, his father here uh, sending a, a letter to a friend about uh, where to buy the works of Meister Eckhart. And he's talking about how hot it is and how he's building a stone chimney. So I actually have that framed uh, over top of my bed. His uh, son gave that to me. Um, so some of these are some of the images of uh, Dr. Ananda Ketish Kumaraswamy. Like I said, 27 languages, 26 or 27. Died in 1947, uh, over 60 books and many, many countless hundreds of articles. Was on the stamp of India, even though he spent most of his life not in India, but in the United States. Curator of Arts at Boston Museum. Um, very few people know his name today, but people that do know him know what an incredible master. There is nothing finer. You're going to think, well, that's your opinion. There is absolutely nothing finer that exists on art theory that's ever been written. I mean, uh, there just isn't. Um, even going back to some of the uh, ancient Greek uh, commentators on art and the beauty and aesthetics, they come kind of close, but they still don't approach uh, Kumaraswamy's works. Like I said, I have rights to all these works as granted to me by his son, Dr. Rama P. Kumaraswamy, and uh, I'll give you the download link below, so look below for these. And uh, I'll eat broken glass, not literally, if uh, you don't read a couple of these articles on art theory and not like them. I would be really shocked that if you don't have, uh, you'll never read anything anywhere near as pithy, nor as uh, true, nor as accurate, nor as inspiring. The important thing is inspiring. And I guarantee you it will actually help your comprehension of how you approach the methodology, your mental methodology to photography because as Ansel Adams says, the most important part of your camera is about 12 inches behind the viewfinder. That being your brain. And uh, you know you gotta start there. You know, manipulating your camera and learning how aperture and shutter speed works, that's one thing. I could teach, you know, someone had to be a master of the camera, but if they don't have the eye or don't understand intimacy that I've talked about before, about expressing, I mean, these articles will really help you understand what it is you need to express in your photographic work, work because even though he talks about ancient and medieval principles of beauty, the, this is timeless. Some people say, well, oh, well, that's old stuff. Well, that doesn't apply. This stuff is not like milk, which has an expiration date. The truth is truth, timeless, eternal truths. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's a thousand years old or, or ten days old. I mean, these are eternal, timeless truths, which are transcendent. They have nothing to do with time. So this is all applicable to your digital photography. Absolutely every bit of it. And uh, you'll glean a lot, and like I said, the link is below on NikonFocus.com where you can download these books. And thanks for watching. I'm so grateful to uh, his son for uh, letting me have the rights to these works so that I can give them out to you people. Okay? Catch you later. Bye.